Hey, Jesus, what's going on, man? Hey, Sagar. Uh, just living the dream here at the Cambian headquarters. Ah. How about yourself? Yeah, the weather's nice. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a nice day outside. What have you been up to? Um, well, my grandma is in town, and uh, we went out to Lake Michigan and gave her a tour. So she experienced that for the first time. She, uh, she had a blast. It was, uh, it was really nice, though, because we went all down Lake Michigan, and um, it, there came a point where I didn't have any signal on my cell phone anymore, so I was wondering what, what, what I could do to, uh, to connect her on Facebook Live to my cousins that were streaming. And luckily, the boat had some sort of a Wi-Fi system that I was able to connect, and she was able to stream live to my cousins back in Mexico. So it was a really interesting experience because I didn't know that uh, cruises had Wi-Fi, which is new to me. Right. I think typically they do have like satellite Wi-Fi, but it's really, really slow because you have to sh use a satellite for transferring data across. Uh, but I think there are some applications right now that you can use. So especially if you have uh, one end, you have a series of towers on one on the shore, and then if you're projecting it towards the ship, and if the ship is within range of the uh, of the uh, tower, it's about a few miles. You should be able to connect to it, and then as you're moving along, uh, you leave the first connection and you switch on to the second connection. So that way your session is always running. Uh, I think in this clip you can see like this kind of gives you like a high level explanation of what's going on. So as the ship comes down, it attaches to the first radio on the shore and then as it kind of, kind of continues to go down it switches over to a second radio so there's a little bit of lag uh, between the first and second but that's uh, negligible compared to like the wi-fi connectivity that's available so the, you might experience some dropage but it, it should be okay especially mm -hmm. if they're overlapping it, it should uh, it should not be that difficult yeah it was interesting so i was glad that that happened because that was one of the first times that i didn't have any signal on my cell phone so right it, it was it was good and um I was just thinking this is similar to one of the deployments that we helped a, a, a client in the coast of Mexico. They, they were actually doing some um, fish farming, which has become a big deal nowadays where people want to eat more healthy, but they don't want to pay X amount of dollars. So there's like this industry that's blowing up, which is like fish farming you know, or right. seafood farming. See, and I would think another application would be like patrolling along mm -hmm. the shore especially if you want to have Wi-Fi or connectivity on the boats and stuff, if you're just kind of maneuvering around uh, or off oil shore drilling, that's also another thing. So you have like your tower, especially if you're not too far away, you're within a few few miles of the shore. You can have like the, you can have the uh, uh, master tower on one end or the, and the other side, you can have the radio and they can talk to each, each other. And the thing is, it's not limited to one ship. You can have multiple ships that are in the same sector area that are working together. So. Yeah. It has a lot of neat applications in different fields. Yeah, that seems like there's a multiple applications for some of the access points that you're talking about. Right. So I, I was just glad to experience it firsthand and the frustration that kicked in when I didn't have any service while we were experiencing something with our family was like, okay. So I, I'm glad that Cambium is there to provide some sort of a Wi-Fi for some of these cruises, yeah. which is uh, important for a lot of people. Right. And I think... Uh, I think the product that we have is a PDP 670 and uh, it has high, something called a high capacity multi point. Basically what it means is you can connect up to eight remote nodes back to your master. So you can have eight ships essentially connect to one. Uh, and if you're within the same sector area, you should be able to talk to each other. And that gives you, and if it is mobile enough, you should be able to roam around in that sector field uh, without any issues. So that's oh, all. Yeah. That's pretty interesting and exciting. All right, man. Have a nice uh, trip next time you go visit uh, the Chicago waterfront. Yeah, next time I'll, I'll be going to Seattle, so oh. I'll, I'll give you some Seattle stories. Sure, sure. All right, man.